today's video is a tech review of the VFO 4K A229 Pro. It's a, it's a dash cam. And my question is, it's 2024, do you really need a dash cam? This compact dash cam has the best sensor on the market and is also the first dash cam equipped with the Sony Starvis IMX678. Okay, that probably doesn't mean a lot to most people, myself included. However, what this means is HDR, better low light image quality, and 4K capture, meaning there's much less motion blur and noise in your footage. The front camera records in 4K 30 frames per second and has a 140 degree diagonal field of view and the rear camera records in 2K quality 30 frames per second and has a 160 degree diagonal field of view. The monitor has a 2.4 inch screen and takes a micro SD card. There's also an interior dash cam to give an interior view. So far it all feels really, really well made. Now, I've been a bit skeptical about installing a dash cam in the van and the only reason behind that is that I always thought it was quite complicated to sort of hardwire this in. But one of the good things that VOFO do is that if you don't actually want to hardwire it, you can actually just literally plug it in and then that there then plugs into a cigarette lighter type socket and then you can just plug it in that way so you don't actually have to do any hard wiring now they have sent me hard wires for this anyway so I will be testing that out as well but this main sort of part here is the screen which tells you what's going on so that you can see what it's recording but the camera is actually in the back of it as well so it saves you having this and then a separate camera as well they have also sent me this one here that is designed to go on the outside of the vehicle and you can literally just clamp it on to the back of the van and then run the wires through. I'm still not 100% sure on whether I'm going to wire this one up because I don't know where I'm going to run the wires because everything's pretty set. There's no roof line in that I can pull down. I can't really pull the floor up or anything but I might just sort of wire it up just so that we can see how it works but I probably won't be keeping that on the van all the time. If this was the early stages of this van build, I would have obviously got this first before I laid the floor or the ceiling. And they have also sent me their very own high performance 64 gigabyte SD card. It's a micro SD, but there is a adapter there as well. Bluetooth remote as well. Now we are gonna start off with the, the plug and play side of this because not a lot of people know this, but there's a little hidden compartment here which has its very own 12 volt socket. So rather than sort of running this wire all the way down to where your cigarette lighter is normally in, in your vehicle, I'm actually quite fortunate that I've got one there. So it means that I can actually run it up through here along and then down. And as far as these go, they normally sort of say to hang them sort of up behind your mirror so that they're not ruining your sort of line of sight, but you still need to be able to see that it's recording and everything. So I'm gonna pop it about there, I think. Before I stick anything down, let's just plug it in and just uh, make sure that it's working properly. Right, oh, hello. That fired straight up. Okay, I've not put an SD card. Okay. It's good that it actually tells you that you need to insert a memory card. So it actually records um, audio as well as recording. Right, so we're gonna stick this up. I'm gonna just go for it and put it up here. This is a pretty big windscreen in this fan, so it's not really gonna obstruct my uh, field of view. Okay, and then just pull it down. There we go. Video protected. And then what I would do is I'd take this wire and just run it up through the top where the it goes for my reversing camera and then all the way down this pillar. And then I could just literally just plug it straight in and leave it in there. But as my fuse board is just under here, I'll probably hardwire it in. I mean, it's very clear that these are sort of designed for you to be able to fit them yourself so that you don't have to go to like Halfords or anywhere to get the fitted because they give you this little tool as well in the box, which just allows you to sort of get your, get your wire up behind your trim. I have just had a very, very good idea of how I can actually run this rear camera without having to run a wire right down the middle of the floor. 
I'm gonna use this cupboard because it's the one thing in this van that I have access to that runs from the front of the van all the way to the back. As far as hardwiring this in, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. It does come with a user manual, so essentially you can follow the instructions. Everybody's vehicle is different, but on this particular van, I've got behind here, right in the depth of in here, is a fuse box. That's already got a spade on it, so you can literally attach it to an F. And then you've got your battery live, which is that one there. And then you've got your ACC as well. This dash cam also has a smart voice control. Show all cameras. Show rear camera. Show front camera. Sweet. You can also access your footage via their smartphone app and it also has 24 seven parking monitoring. If you want to keep an eye on your vehicle 24 hours a day, but this will only work if you have the hard wire kit. Also in the box is a circular polarizing filter to take any glare off your windscreen when recording. And if you ever want to remove your dash cam off the windscreen, you can do this by simply sliding it to the right. All right, so it's a couple of days later. I have been driving around for a few days with the dash cam connected and it's time to take out the memory card, put it into the laptop and just see how good the quality of this footage actually is. Some of the drives that I've been on recently have been on like really pothole type roads and this footage looks nice and steady. I was a bit concerned thinking it'd be a bit shaky, but it's it looks fine. So I was driving home the other day on the A30 and a car that I drove past, it smelt like its clutch had gone or something. So looking at this, you can pretty much see the moment when this car just started smoking out the back. It actually looked like it was on fire. And then we literally were just driving, driving, driving. And then we were just like engulfed in this like cloud of smoke. And that little Ford KA there, the yellow one, stayed in the lane behind the car that had the issue. And then when I literally let them pull out, they wouldn't go out. Over. Pull up. Go over then. Come on, go. Go over. I kind of forgot that this records sound as well. <laughs> Let's go back a little bit further. There was a bit where I got cut up at a roundabout, where's that? Well, it wasn't me that got cut up, but it was the car in front of me. Right, so I pulled out of this roundabout here. I let this silver VW camper van go past. And he was obviously in the wrong lane, and then he cut up the car in front of him, which then well, nearly created a complete pileup. That van probably would have got away with being unscathed, but at the same time, we all could have had an accident from that. I think this is great. So when I started this video, I asked the question, is it worth having a dash cam in your van? Well, after doing a little bit of research, it actually turns out that certain insurance companies will actually discount your insurance premium if you have a dash cam fitted. For that reason, I mean, that's enough of a reason to have it, but also with all the sort of crazy drivers that there are on the road at the moment, and even with people trying to jump in front of your vehicle so that they can get an insurance claim. I like this product so much, I'm actually gonna order another one and put it in the car so that I know that the wife's gonna be safe when she's driving with our son. As far as the Viofo A229 Pro goes, I think it's packed full of features, it's great value for money, so if you would like to get your hands on your very own Viofo dash cam, they have provided me with a discount code to provide to you, which will be linked below, because Viofo are currently running a summer sale where they're offering up to 38% discount on their range of products. So use my link in the description with my discount code and get yourself some money off. And thus concludes the end of this tech review video. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.